Good morning, babes. I know it's been a couple weeks since I last saw you guys. I was last posted a video with that. Um, but school has definitely picked up and it's been taking me down through there. Um, and I have a test today, so I've been studying all weekend because I definitely wanted to start this vlog sooner. But I want to take you guys through another week of my life now that things have really like picked up. Because I feel like my first two weeks were kind of like um, not indicative of what the next three months would be like. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a chance to do my hair last night. I normally wash and restyle my hair every Sunday, but I didn't get a chance to do that because guess why? I was studying for the test I have today, so I just braided down the front, which is like the area that I have to restyle, um, because the curls actually lasted for like a week back there, but I actually don't like my hair, but whatever. Um, but you know, it's October, breast cancer awareness. Woo -woo. I don't know if you guys know, but my mom actually had breast cancer. Um, so I'm always trying to support in October by wearing pink. So yeah, you guys should do that too. But right now it is, I think it's like 8.40. No, it's not 8.40. Let me grab my watch. Alrighty, so right now it's 8.17. So what I'm gonna do is study a little bit before I actually walk to meet my friend. I have like, what, 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna do 20 minutes of studying. Then I'm gonna walk to meet my friend and then we have our first class, which thank God my test is not in the first class. Um, and then I'll come back and check in. But good morning. Alrighty guys, I'm back in my dorm. I just finished taking my test and the test, honestly, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like it went well. I'm even tempted to say okay and not well. Um, I do know there were some questions I missed, which were like, when I realized the answer, I was like, how did I get that wrong? But yeah, um, but there were a lot of questions also that I feel confident in my answers and I feel like I got them right. So that makes me feel better about the test. Um, but of course, studying never ends in PA school. So now I have a big test on Thursday. It's basically like a performance where I show them like my clinical skills. It's actually called a clinical skills exam. This is the second one I've had so far, but this one is huge. So many skills could go over compared to the first one I had, which is just a medical interview. But I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm excited to get it over with, basically. Um, I walked to my dorm after class because I was feeling tired, of course, after the test and after studying so much. And I was like, I just want to relax. And then I got hungry, so that's why you hear my microwave going, because I was like, at first I wasn't hungry, but now I'm hungry, so. But yeah, I'm just going to relax, watch some TV. I definitely want to start reading this book I bought. Um, It's called One Italian Summer. It looks like this. It's by the same author who wrote In Five Years, which I love the book In Five Years. So yeah, I just got this book to read, so i going to watch some TV for maybe like an hour or so, and then I'll read my book and then I'll start getting ready to practice for that exam and I have to practice with my friend because since we're doing clinical skills I need to be able to do the clinical skill on somebody so I'm gonna practice with my friend later on but yeah y'all the test went okay now it's on to the next thing so y'all I literally put the book down at like 440 this book is actually turning out to be pretty good um and I decided to meet my friend in her room at 445 it's literally like a three minute walk away so i'm not really tripping about it um but i'm packing up now it's exactly 4 45 to walk over there but yeah we're gonna practice i'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys if she's not acting like she's scared of the camera um but i'm excited because since i feel like i did well on that test it kind of puts me in a better mood to study for the other test and this one is not studying so much other than memorization so let's just get right into it this is my little OOTD to go practice. So I got this shirt from Target actually a couple days ago. My Aricia jogging pants and some, what is it? Low top. I don't know if it's high top, low top, whatever, but Converse. Yep. I feel like a little college girl. All right, y'all, so I'm in my friend's room. We've been practicing for the like performance clinical skills exam. There's nine pages to the exam. We're still on page one, um, but that's because we're really trying to practice the skills to make sure we know them and blood pressure is not my strong suit. So that's what we've been practicing the most for right now. She just finished with me, so now I'm about to start with her. And this is gonna be a bulk of my time, practicing taking the blood pressure. 
So guys, I'm still here studying. Um, something I forgot to share is that it's PA week. So y'all go give your favorite PA a gift or something or just tell them thank you for your service. But yeah, so we're still practicing. We're doing a complete physical for this um, clinical skills exam. I think that's upside down on the camera, but we've gotten to page three of nine. Well, it's actually only like eight pages of actual content. So we're getting through this pretty well. I want to at least get through half of it today um, and maybe the other half tomorrow. And then Wednesday is just straight practice, practice, practice. So let's see, but we're off to a good start. had a great study session me and my friends studied for like maybe three hours and like i said we were practicing going through the rubric for the physical exam that i have to perform on thursday then we went to dinner so you guys saw what i had super good actually i was so hungry and the food was good today now i'm back um i had to decide what i'm gonna study before i go to bed because i'm not going to bed until 11 30 so I want to knock out some studying right now. I'm probably going to take a little bit of a longer break, read my book a little bit because it's actually good and then start studying. But I just wanted to update you guys. Good morning guys it's the next day so i don't know if i showed you guys last night but i ended up reading my book and i did study before i, oh, I showed you guys that i did study before i went to bed and then i woke up before my alarm today i set my alarm for like 8 20 and i woke up at 8 05. anyway i'm up i'm dressed i'm ready now i'm gonna walk in and meet my friend to go to class because as y'all know i'm running late you see how early i woke up and how late i'm making it time uh time just always escapes me but as you guys seen i have on like this little cream colored bodysuit it's not cream it's more like a tan tan bodysuit with this black skirt and some little flats that match and of course i'm carrying my little north face bag but yeah i'm ready to go start my day and today is going to be another day of studying 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 So guys, I'm just getting back from class. Today was like so treacherous because we had to be there at 9.30. We were there till 2.20. We did get an hour lunch break. You guys saw I ate a sandwich, but still, today was just like such a treacherous day. Um, but I did get my grade back for my test and I did good. I did way better than I had expected because I have this thing where I miss so many easy questions that it kind of like makes me feel like I did bad on the entire test, but luckily what I got right, I weighed what I got wrong, so I did really good on the test. So now it is about two o'clock or so, and me and my friend are gonna practice some more for the test we have on Thursday, and we're gonna start at four o'clock. So right now I have a break where I'm probably gonna read my book a little bit, call and catch up with my husband, with my friends, and um, study a little bit for the test I have on Friday as well, just because I don't wanna wait till Thursday to study for the Friday exam, because it's kind of a lot, but it's like, it's easy to digest, but I just want to start, of course, studying it early, but yeah. So now that the day is over with, as far as like school goes, I can chill a little bit before I start studying. This is the life of a PA student, guys. It's like, you go to class, you come back home, you relax, and it can vary for people. I relax for like an hour, maybe two hours. Then I start studying, but you study for like the rest of the day. So when you apply and you're doing your application and you're like getting ready to go to school, or whatever, Make sure you're prepared to study every freaking day. Also, side note, I wanted to include my outfit. Here's a screenshot of it. It is so cute. Okay, bye. I'll check in later. So, guys, I just made it back from Zumba. Uh, that was actually the best Zumba class I think I've ever been to. The instructor guy was so nice so sweet he was so cute he was doing like great dance moves really had me hyped up to continue working out and we were going in like i'm literally dripping sweat from the back of my head it's crazy i've never sweated that much in my life but it was so much fun i cannot wait to do that again i don't know if i told you guys but i accidentally accidentally purchased class pass so like i did the free trial i did enjoy it and i was like oh i'll eventually buy it but i wasn't pressed to do it 
forgot to cancel it. So, of course, it charged me after my free trial ended for like a month. I canceled it now, but I'm definitely going to use the credits and just go to a bunch of workout classes. But that, that Zumba class, oh, I highly recommend. It was such a great class. But yeah, now I got back to the dorm. I was going to take a shower, but one of my roommates is in the shower and I'm starving. So I have to go eat dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go eat. I'm going to finish up the studying I was doing with my friend in her room. And yeah, I'll be done for the night. But yeah, let's go eat. You guys, I am so tired. It is about, it's 10.13. I just want to recap my day for you so you can see why I'm so tired. I went to class, 9.30. Got out at 2.20. Mm, I had an hour lunch break in that. Came to my dorm, rested for about an hour and a half. Went to my friend's room, two hours. Studied, 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 practice, practice, practice. Went to the gym for about, let's see, we got there about 6.30. We left about... Six thirty to past seven thirty. I'm gonna say it was an hour long class. I really can't remember now. <sighs> Hurry up and took a shower. Went to the dining hall to eat. Went back to her room to study for an hour. And now I'm back in my room. And I'm so sleepy. I have this test on Thursday, which is what I was studying with her for. But I also have a test on Friday that I just have not given enough energy and tonight I can't do it I think tomorrow I'm gonna practice with my actual like um my actual partner for the performance I had to do on Thursday <sighs> but tomorrow I really gotta start studying for this quiz like I feel so not prepared like, I looked over some stuff, but I just looked at it. I didn't, like, take it all in, make any notes. I just looked over the study material, but I didn't absorb it. So, I am, I don't want to say fucked quite yet. But I do want to say if I don't get on this, studying for this quiz tomorrow, I may be. Because the quiz honestly should not even be that hard. It really shouldn't. This class is, like... I think I already told you guys it's one of those classes where it's not a lot of material it's easy to digest but it's just I don't have the time to even look at it oh. yeah so tomorrow I'm gonna do a run through of everything um for the test I have on Thursday and then it's literally pharmacology from here on out but anyway I have class tomorrow at 8 a.m <laughs> Don't you love that for me? Class tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I do be up at least by... I don't get up an hour early. So like 7 o'clock. Especially because tonight I'm not picking out an outfit tonight because I'm so tired. So that means I need to wake up early in the morning. Pick out what I'm going to wear to class. So I'm probably going to get up at like 7. 7.20 at the latest. Yeah, even that is a stretch. So we're talking like... 17 705 we're getting very specific with time here because i need to be in class by eight and i normally meet my friend 20 minutes before class so 7 40 so it just looks like tomorrow's gonna be a lot of caffeine a lot of caffeine but good night you guys i just want to update you on my day because as you guys know i didn't really show much after i left the gym so yeah see you tomorrow can I just start by saying today, today has been the hardest day for me to get through. Just please excuse my room. It's a great depiction of how I am right now. Very unorganized, very disheveled, very much so in the right spot, um, but not quite tucked away. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like I'm going through a lot right now. Like all of my classes are picking up at about the same time. I have multiple tests on some days. I'm starting to feel sick, so I'm eating halls and I'm about to go get some medicine because I refuse to be sick because it's really gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyways, yeah, today was tough. Trying to wake up at eight. Y'all seen how late I got in last night from working out. And, and so even when I got in bed, like to unwind, I have to do something. So I watched a little bit of TV. I watched the Great British Bacon Show. So if you guys are not, if you don't have Netflix, get Netflix just to watch that because I don't know, I just really love that show for some reason. Um, 
And then I set my alarm for, I think it was seven o'clock or 7.05. It was the hardest thing for me to wake up this morning. It was so hard. And then when I got to class, I actually fell asleep in my first class. Like I kind of nodded off. I never do that, but I'm just like, that showed me or that really just emphasizing me like I am so tired. And then now I'm headed to the library right after class because I have so many tests to study for. It's just, it's basically ridiculous. So like I keep telling you guys about the test I have on Friday that I've given no effort, no thought. I'm gonna start looking over it today. And then I have two tests on Monday and my husband's coming in town this weekend. And I don't want to spend all our time not together trying to study, you know, and because it just takes away from the fact that he's in town. I want to celebrate that. I want to be present with him. And so to do that, I really need to be studying for all the stuff I have next week right now. So when he gets here, I'm not just completely starting from scratch studying because it would take away a lot of the time we have together because he's only coming for Saturday and Sunday. and He's leave, leaving super early Monday morning. So... Yeah, I don't want to take away from all the time I have with him trying to study. So that's why I'm like, let me start now. But that means today I need to be in the library till like 8 o'clock. I have three tests to study for. The one on Thursday, I'm feeling better about it. I know for sure I won't make like a 65 on it. Like, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, it's just a lot of memorization. And today I like wrote out everything that I remember just like top of my head. What do I remember for this test? And I remember a lot of stuff. I remember say a lot of things, do a lot of things. So I'm feeling pretty confident in this test. Um, so that's why right now I'm like, I can stop stressing that so much. I'm getting to a comfortable place and I can focus on these other three tests. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go to the library now where I'll be for pretty much the remainder of the day. Like, yeah. I think it's like the stress of it all that's just really like overbearing. I feel like when you think about going to PA school, you don't think about exactly how stressful it's gonna be. Like, even when I was practicing for an interview, I thought a question may be like, how much stress do you associate with PA school? And I was like, like a moderate amount, like an amount that like will challenge you, but won't be like detrimental to your health to complete. I wanna retract that statement. <laughs> because I'm not a person who's normally fatigued or like drowsy or anything like that, but definitely since being in PA school, I find it hard to really get up and go, you know? Especially because I know what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna go to the library or I'm just gonna sit here at my desk and study for hours. So you definitely wanna pour into some of the things that make you happy. So getting that book and actually reading it and liking it has been one of those things. Of course, so for YouTube is always gonna be one of those things. And just like getting to know people, like spreading outside of my little, my little clique, my little bubble, which is like me and one other person, <laughs> like getting to know other people in my class has been very helpful as well. But yeah, let's go to the library. I don't want to ramble on because then I really won't go. So. I have been in the library since I last checked in with you guys and I've been studying the entire time. I meant to record myself earlier, but my phone was dying and my iPad was dying. So everything had to get charged up. And so I've been able to show you guys just a few clips of what I've been doing, but studying for, I just finished studying for the test on Friday, which is pharmacology. 
and feeling a lot better about it like i said that was the one class i'm like why am i waiting so late to start studying because it's honestly the easiest information for me to digest right now so that went well i'm studying for that now i'm studying for anatomy lab so basically we just have to do straight anatomy so just identify structures so what i'm doing is just repeatedly showing myself the same image so i'll know like when i see this oh what's that when i see that oh is that because the teacher also uses images to show it to you so she doesn't describe it and you have to like think about what it is or like anything like that it's nothing convoluted it's a very like straightforward exam do you know what this structure is basically so i'm just gonna keep showing myself the structures that we need to know repeatedly and that'll help me study for that and now my quiz i have for physiology is going to be very dense it covers a lot of heavy topics and my teacher i don't know if it's the way she teaches um that i just don't it doesn't click with me the first time so in class i'm literally like but once i go back over it and i take my time and actually read through the slides and look at the images it makes more sense but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do for right now i said i'm gonna stay in the library until not nine o'clock but maybe like 8 30 is right now 5 14 and i have snacks and stuff so i'm really thinking that that's a good option for me um and i'm not tired right now so i think it'll be good but yeah let's just get back to studying morning babes welcome back to the channel i know i know last night i didn't check in at all after i finished studying um but what i did was after i finished studying i met up with my homegirl we went to the dining hall on campus we ate i went back to my dorm um i did a run through of the test i have today at 3 10 i think i did a run through actually timed and um i had a lot of extra time but that doesn't account for me actually performing the skill like putting the blood pressure cuff on putting the temperature inside the thing like that's also going to add a couple minutes or so to the time that i had left over but i felt good about it and i wasn't so worried about the timing because i talk really fast it's kind of sad but i talk fast um when i'm nervous so i'm like if anything i'm gonna end up with too much time left because i've sped through the entire thing um but then the proctor i have also is an older gentleman so i was told i need to speak up and i'm sure me talking fast won't help so i'm gonna try to slow myself down so yeah the time i got last night it was good for like my like inner perspective like okay you know everything you can get through it but um as far as performing the skills and like making sure my proctor can hear me so i get all the points it's gonna be like um uh, adding more time to the time it takes me but yeah um this morning i'm feeling good about it i studied last night i studied a little bit this morning but i'm not truly studying it anymore i'm just kind of like okay for this section what do you say what do you do how do you perform the skill things like that you know um i am going to meet up with my partner at like i think she does hers at 2 30 yeah she does hers at 2 30 so i think she'll be on campus like one something so we'll meet up like two o'clock and she'll do a run through of hers for 30 minutes and then she'll actually go do the real thing which i think is smart because you know after you've done it just then you'll remember but yeah now i'm gonna head to starbs because i really want a hot drink as you guys can hear like i sound a little bit congested a little bit nasally so i want to go ahead and get a drink just to go ahead and knock it out because i kind of want to warn my partner that i am a little bit under the weather so my temperature because we actually have to check the temperature and they come back a little bit high but like don't be alarmed type thing because you know when you get in that zone and you're so used to everybody's temperatures being normal somebody's coming back like slightly above normal it's kind of like oh my god did i do something wrong but no i'm just a little bit under the weather but i'm gonna get the drink and hopefully that clears some of this little stuffiness and congestion up for me but yeah i'm feeling good this morning i'm washing clothes i'm almost done actually because i woke up super early could not sleep last night so i was watching tv till like i'm embarrassed to admit i was watching tv till very late um but i woke up early this morning went and washed my clothes i'm gonna clean my room up a little bit and um yeah just get prepared for that i don't want to overdo it because i'm one of those people where oh i feel confident in my core thing so then i start adding things last minute or like i'm putting too much pressure on myself so then i start forgetting things so i don't want to overdo it but i am going to keep looking at it as well as starting to study for my test on friday well 
already started but like going more in depth but yeah i just want to give you guys an update because i know yesterday i kind of was like oh i went to study at the library and i kind of lived there and never went back to my dorm but no <laughs> i went back to my dorm i slept i'm up and i really think i'm ready to do this i hate that i'm the last person to go but i'm hoping that that kind of works in my favor yeah Anyway, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. I may come back after I do it just because I'm not doing anything else until then. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. You guys wish me luck. Hey babes, I'm back and I'm here to do a little bit of a check-in. I know after yesterday, y'all, once I wanted to do that thing, I could not focus. I couldn't turn on the camera. I just, I couldn't. I ended up doing really well on it though. Um, I did miss a couple things, but it wasn't like major things. Um, so it still went well. And then I had a test today. So I was studying last night and I did what on the test, so that's good. Um, we did get a grade, but she's gonna go through and look at something, so it may be adjusted. I'm hoping it goes higher and not lower because I basically got a 98, so if it goes any higher, I'll get a 100, so thank God. So that's one week successfully done. Now I have two tests next week, and you guys know my husband is coming in town, so I'm gonna start preparing now for those tests, so that's what I'm doing. It is 141. I'm supposed to be hanging out with um, my friend and her sisters are in town. So I'm supposed to be hanging out with them a little bit later. So I'm probably going to study until it's time to get ready for that. But oh my God, I'm so happy this week is over. It was treacherous. It was dreadful. It was a lot of studying. Um, and I don't know if I want to vlog when my husband's here just because I want to spend more time with him. So this may be the end of this vlog. But we'll see. If there's another clip that I didn't end it. <laughs> But anyway, let me just get to studying and I guess I'll check in later. Alrighty guys, so I'm actually packing up to go to my dorm and chill for a little bit and then start studying for my lab test I have on Monday as well. But um, I got a good amount of studying done. Let's say I came to the library at like one something and I've been studying until 4.33. So that's a good amount of studying to do on a Friday, especially when I really don't want to. But I got a lot of stuff in my mind and I got soaked up a lot of material so that feels good and then like I said when I get back to my dorm I'm kind of gonna relax for a little bit so maybe like two hours or so and then I'll start studying for the lab portion of my test I have on Monday but this is good um I did talk to my husband though for like 20-30 minutes um so we're gonna factor that in too but still I did a good amount of studying <laughs> But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm happy that you made it to the end. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye, babes.